Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. a plus b plus c is equal to 0 and a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4. So, let us start. Let us call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. First, we take this equation. Equation 1 is a plus b plus c is equal to 0. We make a group of these two terms a plus b. We move this a plus b to the right hand side. Then this will become c is equal to negative a plus b. Now, we take a square of both sides. So, this will become c squared is equal to since the square of a negative number square of any negative number is always positive. So, this expression at the right hand side will become a plus b whole squared next c squared is equal to we expand this a plus b whole squared this will become a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, we move this 2ab to the left hand side. So, this will become a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared minus 2ab. Let us call this equation equation 3. Now, we take uh, this uh, equation 2. Equation 2 is uh, a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, c squared is equal to 1. Move this uh, c squared to the right hand side. So, this will become a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to 1 minus c squared. Let us call this equation equation 4. Now, we compare we compare equation number 3 and equation number 4. By comparing we can write the right hand side of equation 3 c squared minus 2 a b equal to the right hand side of equation 4 1 minus c squared. So, this will become c squared minus 2 a b is equal to 1 minus c squared. Move this uh, c squared to the right hand side then this will become negative 2 a b is equal to 1 minus c squared. This uh, c squared will become negative c squared. Next, negative 2 a b is equal to 1 negative c squared minus c squared will become negative 2 c squared. Now, we divide both sides of this equation by negative 2. We divide each term by negative 2. So, this uh, negative 2 will be considered out with this negative 2 and we are left with the a times b is equal to negative 1 over 2. This negative 2 will be considered with this negative 2 and here we are left with the plus c squared. Next, a times b is equal to this negative 1 over 2 plus c squared can be written as c squared minus 1 over 2. Let us call this equation equation 5. Now, we recall we recall equation number 4. Equation 4 is a squared plus b squared is equal to 1 minus c squared. Equation 
equation 4 is a squared plus b squared is equal to 1 minus c squared and we take square of both sides of this equation. So, this a squared plus b squared whole squared will become a to the power 4 plus 2 a squared b squared plus b to the power 4 is equal to this 1 minus c squared whole squared will become 1 minus 2 c squared plus c to the power 4. Now, we move this 2 a squared b squared to the right hand side. So, this will become a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 2 c squared plus c to the power 4 minus 2 a squared b squared. Next, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 2 c squared plus c to the power 4 minus this 2 a squared b squared can be written as 2 times a b whole squared. Now, we replace this a b with this value of a b from equation 5 c squared minus 1 over 2. So, this will become a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 2 c squared plus c to the power 4 minus 2 times c squared minus 1 over 2 whole squared. Now, we add c to the power 4 to both sides of this equation. So, this will become a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 2 c squared plus this c to the power 4 plus c to the power 4 will become 2 times c to the power 4 minus 2 times we expand this c squared minus 1 over 2 whole squared this will become c to the power 4 minus c squared plus 1 over 4. Next a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 2 c squared plus 2 times c to the power 4. This in negative 2 times c to the power 4 will become negative 2 c to the power 4. Negative 2 times negative c squared will become plus 2 c squared. Negative 2 times plus 1 over 2 will become negative 1 over 2. Now, this positive 2 c squared will be cancelled out with this negative 2 c squared and this 2 c to the power 4 will be cancelled out with this negative 2 c to the power 4 and we are left with a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 next a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2. So, this is the required value of a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4. This is the final answer of this problem.